Hello, my name is Seng Eun-ho, and I'm currently pursuing a PhD course at Yonsei University in Korea. The title of my presentation today is LogFed MISSSM, Localized Federated Dynamics for Improved Scalability, Convergence, and Latency in Split Learning. Before introducing our research, let me briefly explain the background. Big data and huge computing resources are essential in enabling high-quality deep learning. In this respect, the indispensable elements are the utilization of massive amounts of data and probation of large-scale parallel computing power. The sheer amount of Internet of Things or Web of Things clients are great sources of these two elements. They collectively provide a huge volume of data and high parallel computing power, although each individual client has only a tiny fraction of data with limited computing com capabilities. As the first of each kind, Felt Learning exploits these dispersed data and uh, computing resources. In FL, each client trains a local model through their own data and server of which these local models takes the average and sends back to the clients. Through this process, FL can reflect the characteristics of each client's data without direct data exchange that induces privacy leakage. However, FL has limitations in excessive communication and computation load on the client side. Split learning provides a solution to the resource efficiency problem occurred in FM. Split learning divides the entire deep uh, neural network model into two partitions, a non-prom model segment and a low model segment based on the con layer. In split learning, the client and the server each has a low model segment and upper model segment and exchange the con layer output also refers, refer to smash data and the con layer gradient to update the, inter, update the entire model. The first implementation of SL named Vanilla SL guaranteed scalability in terms of increasing accuracy along with the number of clients. And despite improve, improvement in scalability and resource efficiency, Vanilla SL suffers from latency problem caused by the, its sequential operation of the server, serving the clients one by one. To overcome the sequential processing latency of Vanilla SL, we aim to develop a, a parallel SL framework that enables the sheer amount of of WT clients to collectively, collectively train distributed DNN while achieving the following three goals scalability and convergence speed and latency. Achieving this trifold goal is, however, non trivial. Indeed, ex existing parallel SL algorithms struggle with slow convergence, and what is more, they are not scalable. In particular, the, to catch up the convergence speed of vanilla SL, split fed learning split fed integrates. FL into SL and exchange lower model segment across the client after backpropagation. Similarly, inspired by local parallel training, localized split fed hereafter referred to as log split fed additionally updates each lower model segment using the local gradient competed within each client's model segment. Unfortunately, both split fed and log split fed are not scalable. The fundamental reason for such limited scalability is inherent to parallel split model architecture. In parallel split learning, a single upper model segment is connected, to, connected with multiple low model segments. Therefore, while each low model segment is updated once in the PP, the shared upper model segment is multi updated multiple times. In other words, the effective learning rate of the uh, upper model segment is higher than that of each low mode segment. Such gap between the low mode segment and the upper mode segment, which gets severe as the number of clients increases, induces the unscalability and convergence speed degradation of parallel split learning. Uh, several, uh, several works find that a uh, higher learning rate often requires more training samples. Yet, the upper mode segment in parallel SL has no access to client's data. Alternatively, the lower model segment of averaging in split fed and local gradients in log split fed partly serve the imbalance by additionally training the, the lower model segments, which may, however, encounter another issue named client model detention front problem. The formation of the two methods separately update the lower model segments, which may bring about detaching them from upper model segment. Indeed, layer wise, layer -wise model parameter averaging does not guarantee high accuracy without sophisticated techniques. And likewise, uh, local mod local gradients make the low model segments forget about the ex existence of low mod upper model segment, failing to utilize the full capacity of DNN. To resolve, uh, to resolve the aforementioned two problems, we propose a novel frame parallel SL framework coined log SL. 
the key new elements are locally regularizing the remote segment in each client and augmenting smash data at the server by integrating local parallelism and fast learning and mix up data augmented techniques carefully we have successfully designed scalable and communication efficient split learning framework by solving two problems in uh, parallel SL and the numerical research which will be shown prove this in the next slide i will introduce key techniques for solving imbalance and uh, detachment problems and show design elements of it, uh, each techniques uh, the core idea of this page comes from how to improve accuracy and guarantee scalability without additional communication costs in the parallel split learning architecture. We consider the manifold mixup as a key to solve this problem, which enables to in a, uh, increase the effective batch size at the above uh, the segment so as to match its high, higher effective learning rate. When all smash data and its corresponding grassroots label are uploaded to the server, the server generates mixed up, mixed up smash data by mixing smash data from different clients. Assuming there are a total of n clients, the menu for the mixer can be taken by non-restored uh, non extraction of n n under by s pieces of smash data uploaded from one client among the remaining n minus one pieces of smash data. Accordingly, as can be seen from the equation, by utilizing the smashing data mixup L under by tilde obta obtained through uh, smashing mixup with N under by S, other smashing data is added to the loss Li of the existing server. This has a similar effect as the uh, uh, as if the effective batch size of the server is matched to the boosted effective learning rate and can solve the server client update imbalance problem. There are three design elements in this smash data mixup: uh, the type of data augmentation techniques, mixing ratio, and the number of mixed up smash data. In summary, as shown in figure below, mixup with uh, uniform lambda performs best. Uh, regarding n on the bias, the table below shows that accuracy is not always an incremental function for ns. The optimal ns according to n is left as future work. Uh, next, key technique is local loss. The purpose of utilizing local loss for SL can be roughly divided into two categories. First one is to update the local low model if the gradient is not transmitted or transmission fails, as in a lock split fed and split. And second one is to control the amount of information contained in smash data. We utilize the, the local loss algorithm for the later uh, purpose. Note that the higher uh, the higher the accuracy gain the higher the mixup in the layer closer to the input layer. Uh, if the lo local loss is set, set to maximize the mutual information between the smash data and the input data, this can have a similar effect to bring the con layer down to the input layer. Accordingly, if it is used together with the smash data of the previous page, it is expected that the accuracy gain from the mixup can be maximized. We collocated it on auxiliary network on the client side, uh, uh, and the auxiliary network generates the local loss denoted by L star. At this time, as a type of local loss, improper algorithm and norm based algorithm uh, was considered, and the accuracy gain of improper was confirmed to be high. Finally, to utilize the local model aggregation used for split fed and log split fed, we tried to control the aggregation period to consider communication efficiency aspect. Briefly, the accuracy and communication cost trade-off according to the local model set averaging interval TC occurs. By integrating the above three techniques carefully, we designed our global parallel SR framework coined the log-fed mix SR. Briefly, our proposed log-fed mix SR can be simplified in the following three steps. For the propagation with smash data mixer, Backpropagation with local and glo global gradients and periodic, periodic local model aggregation. First, all clients propagate input data through uh, each lower model segment and produce smash data. Then the, smash, uh, then the client passes the smash data through each auxiliary network to generate L hat i while sending it to the server at the same time. Through, through smash data, the server obtains a global gradient from L tilde i plus L i. Then the server and all clients update their own model through backpropagation. Finally, all clients send their raw model segment with auxiliary network to the server. The server takes weighted average on the 
uh, aggregate model and produces a global local model, which is downloaded by all clients. All clients replace their model with aggregate model. This completes a single communication round of log Fedmix SM. If you want to check the detailed operation, please refer to the appendix F of our paper. Uh, by combining multiple techniques appropriately, uh, we make a split learning frameworks shown in table three, including our proposed log Fedmix SL and other state-of-the-art uh, state SL algorithms. The LearnNet model is used for Cypherten dataset and fashion image dataset. Uh, regarding uh, scalability, table three re uh, reports the top one accuracy and total communication runs for several com combinations of different techniques. Our proposed log fed mix SL, which is algorithm number eight, achieves the highest uh, accuracy regardless of n and always records the top performance in terms of com uh, convergence speed. Uh, and table three also shows uh, also reveals that scalability is guaranteed under the algorithm one as well as the uh, under the algorithm two five six and eight the common feature of the algorithms that guarantee scalability except for vanilla split learning is the use of technique three smash data mixer the effectiveness of smash data mixer is bolstered by uh, number four a local loss regularization as shown by comparing the algorithms two five with six eight in table three as previously mentioned it is known that the accuracy gain tends to increase that as the data mix up performed in the layer closer to the input layer. As we expected, local regulation is operated to show an uh, effect similar to making the smash data mix up closer to the input data mix up. In this context, uh, simultaneous utilization of smash data mix up and local regulation, regulation leads to greater accuracy gain. Uh, similarly, from table 3, the combination of 3 and 5 has good uh, performance in terms of convergence speed. As mentioned before, Smash Data Mixer has the same effect as increasing the batch size of the server, which speeds up the uh, convergence speed of the upper model of the server. However, with the Smash Data Mixer technique only, the convergence speed of the client's low model can be bounded, and this can be confirmed through the algorithm 2 in the table. Although low, model, low weight averaging can induce a detachment problem, it is an optimal technique to increase the convergence speed of the low model. Therefore, as the smash, smash data mixup and low model aggregation are used together, the convergence speed of the low model and the upper model is simultaneously imp improved, which speeds up the convergence speed of the entire model. Table three above, uh, table above compares split learning algorithms latency for T communication rounds with N clients. The latency measures the time it takes for all cli N clients to learn for each T communication round uh, under the pre premise, uh, premise that the server's computing, pa computing power and transmission power are very large. Only computing power and communication la latency occurring at the client side is considered while ignoring the communication and computational latency occurring on the uh, server side. In terms of latency, the worst case means that TC equal is equal to 1, while the best case means that TC is equal to T. The three figures in the, mid in the middle are comparisons of latency according to the ratio of unit computation, computation time and unit communication time respectively. We can check that the best case of our proposed algorithms achieves the low, lowest latency and worst case of our proposed method is still better than all other baselines except for split band. Lastly, the two figures at the bottom are the learning curves according to different datasets and the superiority of uh, proposed algorithm in latency, accuracy, and convergence speed can be confirmed at the same time. Uh, Thank you for listening to my presentation, and if you have any questions about this presentation or paper, feel free, feel, uh, please feel free to contact us by email on the screen. Thank you again.